Hey, -oh. so I'm here with um, this time I'm gonna show um, my record collection. I just recently got a record player and um, have been a little bit obsessed with record buying. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through what I had previously. Uh, the last time I had a record player was probably about five years ago. Um, and then I'm gonna show you the stuff that I picked up um, this last weekend. Um, but first, I wanna show two comic books that I picked up. Um, Semi-Automatic Magic. Semi-Automatic semi, semi um, by Alex DeCampi. Um, written by Alex DeCampi and art is by Jerry Ordwall. And colors by Marisa Louise. Um, I've been wanting to pick up this book for a while. They just did a Kickstarter that um, was hardbound and um, and had some extra story, but I missed that. So I, anyway, I had nothing to buy when I went to my comic shop this week, um, so I picked this up. The art is, I find, beautiful. And then at a bookstore called Green Apple Books um, in San Francisco, I um, picked up this for three ninety eight, four bucks. Uh, hexed. It's written by someone I've never heard of, um, Michael Allen Nelson, but the art's by Emma Rios. Um, first edition was put out in oh nine. Um, Sorry, colored by Chris Peter. But uh, yeah, I was excited to see Emma Rios. The artwork it looks very different from what I'm used to by Emma Rios. Um, but uh, I'm excited to check it out. Kind of similar theme as semi out of magic, magic in terms of, I don't know, magic, Cthulhu, um, blah, blah, blah. All right, so getting into records. Try to go through this quick. Um, so right now we're listening to Asleep at the Wheel. Um, I'll get to that later because this is something I just picked up and I kind of want to give it an introduction. Um, so first I'm going to start out with the book, the, the records that I had since, uh, for the past, I, most of them were given to me from, um, my brother-in-law and sister who... Um, have been into <clears throat> record record buying <clears throat> for a long time. Um, so Jimmy Cliff, um, the harder they come. This is a, I believe, a movie soundtrack. Um, yeah, but this record's amazing. Um, the Doobies. Best of the Doobies. Um, I actually have never listened. I haven't listened to this a lot, um, but I know that I like it when I do. Um, this is Pink Floyd um, "Animals." Um, this album's beautiful, very slow, fairly dark. Uh, <laughs> like a lot of um, Pink Floyd stuff ends up being. Um, Amalia Rodriguez, she's one of my favorite singers. She's a Portuguese, um, she, and she sings in the style of music which is called Fado, F-A-D-O, which is a wonderful kind of music, very sad, melodramatic, um, folk, folk music. Here's another Amalia R Rodriguez. So this one, I believe, is her on, yeah, her on Broadway. Um, I think all the songs are in English, she does Summertime, just a beautiful version of Summertime. And then, um, these are more, of, this has more of her, um, the songs that she, I believe, has written, um, which are in Portuguese. I looked for more Amalia Rodriguez stuff, but, um, wrote, Portuguese, it should be said, uh, Rodrigues, Amalia Rodrigues. I'm probably mispronouncing that. 
I also had this uh, Iggy Pop Soldier. This album is awesome. Uh, very dysfunctional, very whiny. Um, I don't really have these in any kind of order. This is an album that I um, bought myself uh, around the time it actually came out, probably 2000, 2002. Maybe I probably got it around 2004 or 5. Um, Alice Tom Waits, super, it's a good Halloween album. Uh, very creepy. Um, almost seems to tell a story. Uh, Tucson Mytals, Funky Kingston. It's a good record. I'm not, I'm actually, great record in my opinion. Um, I don't know much about Toots or anything. It's, I just know that I enjoy listening to that. Um, Sly and the Family Stone, um, Greatest Hits. I would love to get some Sly um, albums other than Greatest Hits. Um, so he, uh, Sly was one of the main things I was looking for, hoping to find in cheap bins, um, but I did not. And then... Black Sabbath. We own our... <laughs> we... <laughs> We sold our soul for rock and roll. <laughs> I am um, not listen to this much. Um, I should listen to it though. All right. So now I'm getting into the okay. One last one from that I had uh, previously, um, which is this Texas country album. Um, this has been one of my favorite albums. Got Willie Nelson, Freddie Fender, Asleep at the Wheel, Bob Wills, and the Texas. Playboys. So, Asleep at the Wheel is who we're listening to now. Um, this album has been fruitful in terms of uh, finding a lot of these artists in the dollar bins. Um, it's country, but it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's different than a lot of other country that I've heard. Um, anyway, this is a... Beautiful album. So, so because of this, I picked up the thing we're listening to now, which is "Asleep at the Wheel." Um, this album's called "The Wheel." Um, I get the impression that they're a little bit more like rock and roll country, um, bluegrass country. This is my first time listening to this record. Alright, I gotta go. I should go through these quicker. Um, then I picked up Bob Wills, who's also on that co Texas um, album. And his Tex Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. <laughs> I love that <laughs> title. Um, San Antonio Rose. So this album, I believe. Um, was recorded, yeah, recorded in 45. 1945 to 1948 in San Francisco, um, which I thought was cool. And um, this was the only Bob Wills album I found. Uh, I ended up paying eight bucks for it. The Sleep at the Wheel record I ended up paying four bucks for. Um, listen to this already, it's wonderful. Um, super fun. So then I picked up <laughs> Freddie Fender was kind of the easiest thing to find from that Texas album. Um, and all these are a dollar or fifty cents. Um, and the cover, the, the art and Freddie Fender himself are super funny looking. Uh, I mean, great. Um, and his music ends up being uh, fairly like super sad, brutally sad, to the point of it being almost funny. Um, yeah, I tend to like fairly sad music. Um, Before the next teardrop falls, I believe that's one of his biggest songs. 
<laughs> and that song is hilarious. It's beautiful. I don't want you to think that I'm laughing at this guy or his work. Um, like, tragically sad. Tragic. I guess I could just say that. This cover's amazing. <laughs> Um, so this is not Freddy Fender, this is, um, so now we're going to get into some random stuff. Um, Golden Gassers, um, this is a compilation, um, I've heard of Sam Cooke, I'm not familiar with Sam Cooke, um, and I guess that's all I've heard of, um, Haven't listened to this. Um, decided to check it out. Hope, hope, hope to find some some more artists that I'm into. Um, Dakota Stanton. I don't know her. I've listened to this, and it's a beautiful um, record. Um, Servan. I also don't know Servan. Um, a lot of this, these buying, searching through the dollar bins, the 50 cent bins has been um, an education or like a, so I'm getting these artists and then so I need to do some research um, which is a big part of the fun and the draw um, for me. I got a couple Charlie Pride albums. Um, I just listened to this one. It's super twangy country. Um, I got this one for 50 cents. Uh, I had got this the other day and listened to it and I enjoyed it. So I was excited to get this other one. This is a, I think this one came out in 66. I got Judy Collins. Um, she sings some Leonard Cohen songs. Um, I'm not too familiar with her. Um, I, the, known, the name seems extremely familiar. Um, I'm a huge Leonard Cohen fan. Um, which is the main reason I picked it up. Also, I love this cover. <laughs> Mona Lisa there. Um, Picked up this share album where she does um, "Bang Bang," my baby shot me down, and uh, Bob Dylan song or two. Um, not as into it as I hoped I would be. Don't shoot me, John Lennon. I mean, <laughs> Elton John. Um, it's a cool record. I'm not sure that. I'll listen to it much. Catch a Bullet 4. Um, I'm a pretty big Cat Stevens fan. Um, this is a record that I have not listened to a lot. It's, um, if I remember, slower um, and not, it doesn't contain any um, of his most popular songs. Um, Madonna, Like a Virgin, this is a cool album, I was excited to pick this up for 50 cents. <laughs> um, Clipso and Brass, uh, Belafonte, Harry Belafonte, um, this album is really cool, um, 66, Jumpin' the Line, I love, I love, I always have fun listening to Harry, Bel Harry Belafonte. Um, and then these three are kind of thinking for uh, Christmas parties or Christmas music. And this is a pretty cool r record, uh, Soulful Christmas. Um, Patti LaBelle is on it. It's 
the only name I know. I got um, Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker. This cover is beautiful. Um, yeah. And then last was random 50 cent pickup uh, Gypsy Magic. Uh, it's Hungarian music. Or, it, uh, yeah, that's what it says. It's Hungarian music. Um, listen to this. Um, not sure how much I'll. It's not exactly what I expected. Um, so, not sure how much. It's a little tamer than I expected. Not that I know anything about Hungarian music. Alright, these last, so now I've gone through, I basically went through all the cheap music bins that I could find in my area, at least, that I had time for. Um, so then I started, um, I don't know, had to get a new, th or a more expensive thing or two, because all the, most of the newer records um, end up being um, around 20 bucks, even if they're used. Um, so, Amy Winehouse, Frank, I was excited to see this, I, I saw a new copy for about 35 and then this used copy for 16 um, definitely wanted to pick it up, love Amy Winehouse, um, the art in this is, I don't know, whatever, photographs of Amy. And then finally I got this new record, which was only 13 bucks. Um, it's by an artist, a Bay Area, I believe from Oakland, artist called, that calls himself the Fantastic Negrito. Um, if you like blues, especially modern blues, this record I believe came out in, uh, I think, very recent, the last few years. Um, the Last Days of Oakland is the title of the album. Um, but yeah, if you like blues, especially, and you, and angry blues, and, um, contemporary, I would say definitely check this, this guy out. Fan, he's fantastic Negrito. Um, songs are, uh, intro, the last days of Oakland. Working Poor, About a Bird, Scary Woman, Interlude, What Do You Do, The Nigga Song, In the Pines, Hump Through the Winter, Last in a Crowd, Interlude 2, El Chilino, El Chilino, The Worst, Rant Rushmore, Nothing Without You. So anyway. Thanks for watching. Probably won't do a lot of these uh, record haul videos. I might do updates here and there. Um, but just got a record player, realized that this was another thing that I collect, so thought I'd give you a brief tour. All right, have a wonderful week.